Are you all in? <laughs> Commitment is a complicated and funny concept. On the one hand, it represents strict, unbending discipline. On the other, it represents a giving up or letting go, a turning of one's soul totally over to a belief. The first definition makes me feel tired. Don't we all feel a commitment to working as hard as we can to make our lives happy? We grit our teeth and grimly set forth on the laborious path to what we believe will create happiness and fulfillment. This really brings out the rebel in me. Why not work smart, not hard? Or maybe it's not a matter of work at all. The second definition of commitment is scary to me. It's the commitment it takes to jump into the abyss, take that leap of faith, or give up all your preconceived notions, plans, and schemes for success, and just let the universe provide. Somewhere in the middle of these two extremes is where most of us dwell for the short years we have on this planet. We beat ourselves up for not sticking with it, but then also beat ourselves up because we realize we just can't let go and have a little faith in life. All the while, happiness, contentment, and fulfillment seem like bubbles in the wind. I must say, after 60 plus years of wearing myself out working my ass off, Instead of achieving a modicum of happiness for my trouble, I instead have realized the utter futility of it. Over my lifetime, I've often glanced over at the second way, longingly wondering if that would be the fruitful path not taken. I even dabbled in it sometimes when the stakes weren't very high, with mixed results. Now I'm wondering, what if the universe is just waiting for me to get out of my own way? What if I'm unconsciously blocking the universe by making all these plans, cooking up all these schemes, and worrying my pretty little head about outcomes? There's a nagging knowing that this is the true reality of my life, that the ego must demonstrate how powerful it is in creating a life for me. But what if that is all just bullshit? What if the doorway to freedom and fulfillment and actualizing all my grandest wishes and dreams was as simple as just asking for it. The universe sometimes is a way of pointing directly at your self-esteem issues when you ask for something. We jump over into planning and working hard to prove to ourselves we're worthy of what we ask for. Work hard enough and you can have everything you want. Well, I think this is mostly a lie. Sure, Hard work and slavish commitment to an objective is how most of us get the stuff we want, but what if that is the long way around? Instead, what if it's more a matter of asking for something and then being completely and committedly willing to do, be, or not do and not be whatever comes up in the actualizing of it? And what if doing and being only those ways of joy and ease was the fastest track to bringing your dreams to fruition? In other words, you want the joy and ease in your life that your objective would bring. What if the path to that objective was doing and being that joy and ease right now? All the universe seems to want to know is, are you committed to the joy and ease your dreams would bring? Can you truly receive that, or are you awash in doubts and self-defeatism? The universe is all too willing to let you thrash around in these doubts. Otherwise, how would you become aware of the alternative? Say it with me. I hereby commit to the joy and ease the actualization of my dreams would bring. Vow to become joy and ease in my life right now. Becoming a powerful, shining beacon the universe cannot miss in bringing me everything grand and wonderful I can imagine and beyond. Are you all in? You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin, brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy RX, www.pureenergyrx.com.